All right, Mr. Interviewer, I'm sure you have tons of questions, but if you would please shut up and walk away, because I'm going to answer all those whirling thoughts in everyone's head right now. Good Lord Almighty, this promotion is filled with fools, and this kingdom is ripe for my picking. You all really genuinely thought that Dead Zone, that giant lumbering maniac, was cause for emergency of all of PWR? Let me tell you something about Dead Zone, and it's not what I told Anthony Paul. I met Dead Zone when I was training. He was this big, kind of fit guy who was struggling to find a gimmick, a personality to portray for say. So I gave him the identity of Dead Zone. Admittedly, he went a little mad, and now he's 500 pounds of solid muscle and athleticism, and no larynx and a giant hole in his face, but he's just a dude. He's just a normal guy, not this unstoppable juggernaut who can defy death, and clearly that was just proven moments ago. Now what did I tell Mr. Paul? Oh, I just fear-mongered him. I told him Dead Zone was this Frankenstein's monster. I told him that he glitches equipment, and once he gains a title, he erases the whole promotion from existence. And that gullible son of a bitch ate up every word. Cause who would you trust more about the monster who doesn't speak to tell you himself? You trust me, the guy who traveled with him for several years. And besides, there's a real life god of thunder, talking lizards, and disciples of death. It's not too out of the world that Dead Zone was this monster, but he's not. So, why did I fearmonger and become Anthony Paul's personal advisor for the situation of Dead Zone for the past several weeks? Well, it's simple. Because I stand here right now, in the backstage comments area, without even breaking a sweat, with my first ever World Championship Contendership. All my career thus far, I've been stamped out by authority figures denying me the clear path in my manifest destiny. So now, I'm going to use the authority figures to my advantage. And now, I'm going to win my first world championship at Thunderstruck because it went all according to plan. Even the gauntlet. I told Paul just who to put in the gauntlet, and yes, Alex, that included you. Alex, I have to thank you, honestly. You're an integral part to me gaining my number one contendership. If you listened to Mort Tamor of D.I.E., he predicted exactly what I was planning to do. That Dead Zone's final demise started with a man he knows. Now that wasn't me, it was Alex. Alex, you came so close to beating him at wildcard, I think you had the right formula, but you just needed him to be weaker. So I purposely put you as his last opponent, just so you could get your ass beaten down by him, and so you could take him out for me. And then as you just witness, I waltz in, knee you in the face twice, one, two, three. All according to plan. And on top of that, I just got the opportunity to shut your stupid mouth. And to me, the best part about this plan, other than being given my first world title opportunity, is the amount of people I probably pissed off. Not just you, Alex, but 
I used people to give myself a world title opportunity. Some would claim that I'm gonna piss off my fans with this, but rest assured, my deckheads are proud of me. The only people I pissed off are not the viewers, they're the wrestlers. So many people scratch and claw their way into title contention, I'm sure it's just eating all of you up on the inside that I gave myself a world title opportunity. I'm just that damn better than all of you. I deserved a title way earlier, but Brian the Brain and everyone else denied me it. So see this as compensation for my manifest destiny. And I must have pissed off so many people who have denied me. Ends, Brian, Everett Constanelli, whoever the hell owned Redemption Pro, all doubted my ability. And I will show you when I go to that main event and shut out Rob Kamen's lights and hold up that title and tell you just who THE KING IS. And there's another person I must have pissed off. Rob Kamen. Rob, you thought Dead Zone was gonna be your biggest challenge? Oh no, Mr. Kamen. Allow me to introduce myself. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, deck heads of all ages. I am THE King, THE Lido Deck. I am the most calculated, aggressive, and impressive professional wrestler in the sorry, sad community. I am the shining light to this dim ruins that I will turn into my kingdom. And it all starts with your PWR World Championship. You see, you've been wrestling almost every episode and live event since you won that title. I've squashed two wrestlers with minimal damage dealt to me. I designed this plan just so I can have an easy payday. You say you're the only man in this business that you have to kill to keep down. Cayman, allow me to put you out of your misery and then put you into your worst nightmare when you're looking at the ceiling lights seeing stars feeling blood coagulate in your skull and you can hear faintly and new PWR world champion the king the Leto 